Okay, so today's video demonstration is going to be on cooking eggs. Now I know that there are hundreds of different ways to cook eggs from all around the world, but today we're going to concentrate on the most common breakfast cooking styles here in America. We're going to make fried eggs, scrambled eggs, poached eggs, and an omelet. So to start, we are going to prepare four different fried eggs. We're going to make a sunny side up egg. And over medium, and over hard, and an over easy. So here are the four styles of fried eggs that we're going to make. The egg is made up of two different parts. There's an egg white and an egg yolk. And they have two different cooking temperatures. Egg whites are cooked through between 144 and 149 degrees. And egg yolks are cooked through from 149 degrees to 158 degrees. First thing we're going to do is season the eggs with a little salt and a little pepper on one of the eggs. Eggs are a highly nutritious food. Most of the nutrients are found in the egg yolks. They are very high in protein, vitamins, and minerals. And the egg whites are protein, water with traces of vitamins and minerals. When cooking the eggs, you want to make sure that the cooking surface is not too hot. We don't want to overcook the eggs and turn them into a rubbery consistency with a crumbly yolk. So, for over easy eggs, you flip the egg, wait between 15 and 30 seconds, and turn the egg back onto a plate. And that will be over easy. Over medium eggs are cooked a bit longer, between 30 seconds to a minute on the side. And then, of course, over hard is where the yolk is fully cooked through. So that has to stay on for one and a half to two minutes to cook all the way through. The sunny side up egg should be a nice and bright yolk, warm with the egg white fully cooked. You don't want to overcook a sunny side up egg because the yolk will start to get white blotchy spots on it and cook through. The sunny side up is a fully cooked egg white and a nice warm egg white. Different uses for the fried eggs are sunny side up obviously the presentation is is what you're going for. A nice bright yolk and they're typically served either over toast, over potatoes, or over hash. Um, people that like sunny side up will also like over easy for the nice runny yolk. Over medium, the yolk is a little bit more solid but still has some liquid to it. And over hard eggs, the yolk is cooked completely through for people that don't like runny yolks or for sandwiches where you don't want the yolk to run out of the sandwich. So there you have four different styles of fried eggs, sunny side up, over easy, over medium, and over hard. So the next type of egg we're going to make is going to be scrambled eggs and poached eggs. Poached eggs are cooked in a liquid, in this case it's water, a little salt, and always some acid added to the water. 
I used white vinegar because the acid helps congeal the egg whites around the yolk so the whites don't run in the whole pan. So while that's cooking, we'll now make our scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs are the eggs completely blended together. So the whites and the yolks are completely blended together, added to a hot pan, and immediately start moving them around the pan. You want a nice, fluffy, airy texture soft curds and no moisture showing once the moisture is all cooked out the eggs are done if you overcook scrambled eggs you run the risk of having a big puddle of liquid on the pan and what that is is the water and the egg whites are literally being wrung out of the eggs from the proteins. So do not overcook scrambled eggs. The next one will be the omelet. Again, a nice hot pan to start with. You want the eggs to start cooking immediately. So a very hot pan, a little bit of oil, and the eggs go right in. One of the things to keep in mind is you do not want to have a lot of eggs in the pan. If there's too much eggs, it takes too long for the omelet to cook and you won't achieve that nice fluffy omelet texture that you're going for. Once the eggs are cooking, you can add your filling. In this case, it's going to be cheese. Put the cheese or any other filling on half of the omelet so when you take it out of the pan you can fold it over easily. This has only been about a minute or so and it's nice and cooked through. There's no liquid showing so time to take the omelet out of the pan. Slide it out and fold it over with the pan. And that is your omelet. While the omelet was cooking, the poached egg was cooking. If you'll notice, the poached egg is fully cooked. It's nice and tight. All the whites are grouped around the yolk. So this is ready to come out of the water. Always take it out with a slotted spoon so you can drain away the excess water and it goes right on your English muffin. So we made fried eggs, scrambled eggs, an omelet, and a poached egg. Thanks for watching.